Do you run a WordPress website and use either a free or paid Gmail account? However, you're noticing that your emails are just not sending or they're arriving in your customers' junk mail. And on top of that, maybe you're noticing that your website forms are just not delivering. Well, don't worry, this is a common WordPress problem and today I'm gonna help you solve this. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm going to share the step-by-step -step process of how you can stop your emails from going into your recipient's spam folder by using the free WordPress plugin called WP Mail SMTP. Okay, so before we go ahead and set up the WP Mail SMTP plugin, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into this WP Mail SMTP tutorial for beginners. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the step-by-step -step process of installing and properly setting up the WP Mail SMTP plugin for WordPress. So today we'll be using the SMTP server for Gmail and basically using a SMTP server, simple mail transfer protocol, is the best solution to ensure that you can send and receive emails properly. This is the process we use whenever we launch a client's new WordPress website. We always go through this process of using the SMTP server. And this process can be slightly daunting, but don't worry, this is a complete beginner's tutorial that anyone should be able to follow. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, you can use a free Google Gmail account or you can use a paid Google Workspace account. The process is identical. So for example, you can use a at gmail.com account, or you can use a business email through your Google Workspace account. Okay, so to get started, we need to install the WP Mail SMTP plugin. To do that, simply log into your WordPress dashboard and then navigate over to plugins, come down and click add new. Then navigate up to search plugin in the top right hand corner and type in WP Mail SMTP. Then simply come down and locate this plugin WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms and go ahead and click install now. Give the plugin a moment to install, then simply click activate. Then come down and click let's get started. Then once you arrive here, simply navigate down and click on Google Gmail. Now, if you use any of these other email services, you can also follow the process for setting up the SMTP server with each of these services. However, today's tutorial, we're just gonna focus on Gmail. Then come down and click Save and Continue. Go ahead and click I understand, continue. Then simply navigate down to Configure Mailer Settings. We need to locate our client ID as well as our client secret. Okay, so to do this, what we need to do is jump into our browser and type in console.developers.google.com and that will take you here. Okay, so once you've arrived inside your Google Cloud platform, simply navigate up to the top right hand corner and ensure you have the correct Gmail account selected, the correct Google account. Then simply navigate down and click create project. Navigate over to project name and add your project name. We're gonna call this WP Mail SMTP. Then come down and click create. Then once you've created your project, simply navigate up to select project and then navigate up to enable APIs and services. Then simply navigate down your API library and locate the Gmail API down here. Click on it and then navigate up to enable. And then once you've enabled your Gmail API, simply navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on create credentials. Then down here, make sure that you have select an API and you have Gmail selected. Then come down and select user data and then come down and click next. 
Then come down to app information and the first thing we want to do is add the app name. This is going to be WP Mail SMTP again. Then come down to user support email. This is where you want to add your Gmail. And then navigate down to developer contact information. Again, what we want to do is add our email up here. And then simply navigate down and click save and continue. And then under scopes, we're going to leave this for now and navigate down and click save and continue. Then under client ID, simply click application type. And we're going to select web application. And then come down to name and you can add anything you like in here. This is for internal purposes. We're going to go ahead and add WP Mail SMTP again. And then navigate down to Authorized Java Script Origins. Click Add URL. And this is your website. So go ahead and add your WordPress website in here. And then once you've added your website domain name, your URL, simply navigate down to Authorize Redirect URLs. This is where we want to click Add and then head back to the WP Mail SMTP setup on your website. And back here, what we want to do is copy this authorized redirect URL, come down, click copy. And then once you've copied this URL over here, simply head back to the setup and then come down and paste that URL in here. And once you've done that, come down and click create. And then here we have our client ID. So go ahead and copy your client ID and then simply head back to your website, the WP Mail SMTP setup. And under client ID, go ahead and paste in that ID. And then head back to your Google Cloud Platform project again. And navigate down and click done. And then over here, what we want to do is navigate over to credentials over on the left hand side. And then come down and locate your WP Mail SMTP project. Navigate across to Actions and click Edit. Then navigate up to Client Secret. Go ahead and copy this Client Secret. And before we paste in this Client Secret, we first need to navigate up to our Navigation menu. Then come down to APIs and Services and click on Auth Consent Screen. And then come down and we want to publish the app. Go ahead and click Publish App and then click confirm and this is important we need to shift the status from testing to production okay so now we can head back to our website and where we copied the client secret go ahead and add that in here then simply navigate down and click connect to google and this is where we want to select the google account that we've used to set up the gmail smtp server then you'll see this notification here, come down and click advanced and then come down and click go to wpmailsmtp.com unsafe. We do need to select this and then come down and click continue. And as you can see, successful authorization, come down and click OK. Then simply navigate down the page and this is where you want to add the name where your emails are sent from. So our emails from the website are going to be sent from Cindio Media. If you were a small business and maybe you wanted to add your name as well as the business name, you can go ahead and do that. Then come down, make sure that you have your email selected here, then click save and continue. Here we want to simply navigate down the page and click save and continue. This is where you can receive newsletters, information from WP Mail SMTP to help you optimize your email deliverability and grow your business. So go ahead and add your email if you like. We're going to come down and click skip this step and then simply navigate down and click close and exit the setup wizard. And now what we want to do is test our email by simply navigating up to email test. Then go ahead and add an email address that you want to send a test email to. I'm going to add my other business email and then come down and click send email. And as you can see, success test HTML email was sent successfully. Please check your inbox to make sure it was delivered. And this is the last step to ensure that our emails are working correctly. So go ahead and jump into your email inbox. This is where you sent the test email. And congratulations, just like that, the test email was sent successfully. And by setting up the Gmail SMTP server, you have increased the deliverability of your emails. So now that your customers, your audience will receive your emails into their primary inbox.
Also, your website emails will be sending correctly. However, that is it for today's beginner's tutorial, helping you set up WP Mail SMTP using either your free or paid Gmail. All right, there we have it. That is it for this WP Mail SMTP tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about this plugin, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.